Once, Buddha walked through a village, and the people there didn't like him. They gathered around him, saying mean things. The leader of the villagers was the angriest, throwing insults at Buddha. But Buddha stayed calm and just smiled. The leader kept insulting Buddha for a long time. Eventually, he ran out of things to say and became silent. Buddha then said, If you're finished talking, I'll continue on my way to the next village. They are waiting for me there. Someone from the village asked, We insulted you, used bad language, and you're just smiling. Why aren't you reacting? Buddha explained, My friend, it took you a while to get here. If you came ten years ago, it would have been different. Back then, I was just like you. If you had insulted me then, I would have become angry and responded with harsh words, maybe even fighting. But now, I've moved past that. I've let go of anger, hatred, and negative feelings. I didn't react to your words because I've learned the importance of being positive and patient. I realized that anger and resentment don't help. Instead of letting your negative words affect me, I'm moving forward, looking forward to meeting you in a positive way. Responding to negativity with more negativity doesn't solve problems. We should show positivity and tolerance, maintaining thoughtfulness, peace, and rationality. The key to our problems isn't anger, but understanding and cooperation. We need to keep our minds calm so we're not controlled by reactive emotions and can find true happiness. Now I've reached a point where your insults can't bother me. You've thrown mean words my way, but they don't affect me. I'll only be upset if I get involved and accept them, but I'm staying detached, so I'm still calm. The man asked, How is that possible? I insulted you in front of everyone. How can you not accept or reject it? Butter explained, Yesterday, I went to a village. After my talk, they were happy and offered sweets. I said I was full and couldn't accept. The man took back the sweets. See, unless I take something, it can't be given to me. I need to agree, right? Someone agreed, saying, That makes sense. Buddha teaches us not to demand things without control. He controlled himself and didn't take the sweets without asking. He knew his consent was needed. This principle inspires us to build a disciplined character. We should express our needs thoughtfully and avoid unnecessary requests. In our relationships, we should be wise and find balance before making decisions. Agreement and support are key to strong relationships. When we communicate our needs and maintain self-discipline at the right times, our connections deepen and become trustworthy. Cooperation comes from understanding others and offering help when needed, teaching us self-control and the path to contentment. To improve our lives, we must identify our genuine needs and communicate effectively to fulfill them. This makes us disciplined and supportive individuals actively contributing to our contentment and progress. Buddha emphasized the impact of our reactions on our lives. Choosing agreement and patience over dissatisfaction and anger strengthens relationships, just as Buddha's refusal of sweets might have led people to share with their families. Avoiding insults and controlling our reactions, as Buddha did, helps us triumph over circumstances. Personal discipline and self-control are crucial. Thoughtfully choosing our reactions and avoiding harmful responses lead to stability, contentment and success. Following Buddha's example, we learn to respond peacefully and understandingly in challenging situations, avoiding anger. This approach brings stability and strength to our relationships. Sardar didn't react when Buddha spoke. Maybe he was deep in thought. Buddha explained, I've seen that insults are like thorns. Both the giver and receiver end up angry. So, tell me, how can I endure insults with open eyes? How can I bear them while seeing? How can I get mad when I'm aware? So, forgive me, I can't accept your gift. Buddha said this, folding his hands. Sada felt ashamed, tears filling his eyes. He wanted to speak, but his lips stayed silent. Unable to bear it, he fell at Buddha's feet. Often, we blame others for our sorrows, ignoring our own control and capability. In reality, we decide if we let others' negativity affect us. Embracing negativity harms us, while rejecting it frees everyone from hatred, 
anger, and violence. This Buddha story teaches valuable lessons. It shows that others' negative words don't have to impact us. Our awareness and understanding determine our experiences. We must be mindful of our thoughts and feelings, preventing the internalization of others' negativity. What others think of you is none of your business. Focus on your own path and let success be your response. The story teaches us that everything happens at the right time. We should aim to be like Buddha, managing anger and observing things peacefully, making wise decisions. Learning to handle anger and resentment empowers us to make thoughtful choices. In Buddhism, forgiving is a strong and helpful practice. When we hold on to anger or bad feelings, it just makes our suffering last longer. Forgiving people who hurt us helps us let go of negativity and adds to everyone's happiness. Insults can be like mirrors, showing us parts of ourselves we might not realize or know well. Buddhism suggests looking at ourselves to grow personally. Instead of getting defensive or trying to get back at someone when insulted, we can use the situation to think about ourselves and become better. When someone says mean things to you, looking at it from a Buddhist point of view can help you grow and change personally. By being mindful, showing kindness and being wise, you can handle negativity in a calm and strong way. This not only helps you break free from reacting strongly, but also helps make the world a nicer and more peaceful place. When someone insults you, your first reaction might be to insult them back or feel really bad about it. But reacting right away usually doesn't make things better. It's important to pause, take a deep breath, and look at the situation without getting too emotional. Understand that the insult probably says more about the other person than it does about you. This way, you can stay calm and respond in a strong and thoughtful way. Rise above the noise of criticism, for eagles fly higher in silence. Let your success be the loudest response to those who doubt you. The Buddha taught that when someone insults or criticizes you, it's essential to stay calm and respond with kindness. He suggested a four-step approach, often called the four shields or four protections. One, patience. Instead of retaliating, endure the insult without reacting impulsively. Cultivate patience and avoid responding with negativity. Two, friendliness. Respond with kindness and goodwill. Rather than getting angry, try to cultivate compassion for the person who insulted you. Three, sympathy. Understand the other person's perspective and feelings. Develop empathy and sympathy, recognizing that their actions might be driven by their own suffering or lack of understanding. Four, calmness. Keep a balanced and calm mind. Don't let insults disturb your inner peace. Understand that insults are temporary and responding with equanimity shows spiritual strength. Buddha teaches us that conquer anger with non-anger. Conquer badness with goodness. Conquer meanness with generosity. Conquer dishonesties with truth. This verse advises us to react positively to negativity. If someone says something mean to you, getting mad or trying to get back at them might make things worse. Instead, stay calm and reply with kindness and understanding. The Buddha taught that it's good to develop qualities like patience, compassion, and staying calm in tough situations. When someone insults you, remember, your worth is not determined by the opinions of others. Rise above the negativity, embrace your uniqueness, and let their words be the fuel that propels you toward greater heights. Your strength is found in resilience, and your success is the best response to their doubt. Keep shining, for the stars only become more brilliant in the face of darkness. If you found this helpful, please give us a thumbs up to help us reach more people seeking ancient wisdom. If you're new here, subscribe and click the notification bell for more lessons on ancient wisdom. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video. To watch more videos, choose one of the videos that will appear on your screen now.